Hi everyone, I hope everybody's doing alright. I had some time today and I decided to make some videos of what we have been working on with the kids and for them to have a better understanding as we have the day off today and they can go over this video. The first week that we have been working on is uh, the top goes build out, uh, out of the back. For, for the for next minute or so, you'll be able to see as yourself, as a parent, and please uh, show this to your son so they can have a better understanding uh, as this video goes on. Thank you. The first thing I want to point out is the, the dash lines on both sides of the field. That dash line is called the build out line. What is the build out line? As we have a goal kick, the other team cannot press you until you touch the ball. They have to stay behind the build out line. Before, we all thought that was behind the halfway line, but they actually have to stay behind the build out line. Know that next fall, when we go nine versus nine, there is no build down line and teams can press you and stay on top of the box as you take a kick, a uh, goal kick. This is how we should start in every game if we have the ball a kickoff. As you can see, our forward, right, representing by number nine here, is facing our whole team. Our two wingers are nice and wide, touching the line and up the field. We have our center midfielder and we have two center backs and we have our goalie, okay? Now, the formation that we play it on is two, well, including the goalie, one, two, three midfielders and one striker, okay? The other team is also set up on the same formation. Now, you can see our shape when our keeper has the ball and also their other team's shape when they have the ball. And uh, once again, they are behind the build down line. Okay, now they have their left midfielder, right midfielder, striker, and center midfielder all pressing the build down line. This is most times how teams play and press, press the ball. And their two center backs, if they are smart enough, they will be in the midfielder. Not all of them are smart enough. They usually stay back, giving us a space. Now, as you can see our center midfielder and two wingers and our two wingers number 11 and number 7 they are not starting in a back position they are actually far up the field why we want to do that to create space to give us time to receive the ball okay now we're gonna see our movements and the opposition movements as our keeper passes the ball let's say your keeper now I'm gonna start saying name names it's not their positions as we rotate throughout the game, but you as a player should know what position you've been playing this year and what position that I like you to play in. So let's say Jace, as a keeper, passes the ball to our left back, Josh, or Will, or Charlie. Now, what the other team is going to do, they usually presses you like this. Our forward comes, their players come, and now we are stuck. What can our other players do to help Josh? Now our winger, Ignacio, Matias, Nick, Yoel, now they have to drop back into the passing lane. If we stay here, uh, their winger, number seven, is blocking the passing lane. Now we have to drop as the ball moves, number 11, a run, moves to control and find that opening so Josh can pass the ball wide. Now our midfielder, usually Marco or Jaden, they also check into space here. Okay, usually these players, they stay square, giving space in the middle. Our other winger should maybe just tuck in a little, still staying wide, not creating or not keeping all of us crambling in the middle. We stay wide. Our striker can also give us another option by moving side. Now, what shape do you see yourself in? Give you a second. Yes, a diamond. And what shape do we have around the ball? A triangle. Now, our keeper can also move a little 
to give an option back to our center back in case we need to go our keeper. The other center back should not stay this spread out. All right, as we get better with the ball on our feet, yes. But at this moment, if we lose the ball here, it's going to be 1-2 versus the goalie. So as the ball moves to the other side, we move back into the penalty. That way we have our back secure. Now let's say our left wing is able to check in. Jaden from his position on Marco checks in the middle, not towards the ball. If you go towards the ball, you're going to be marked. Stay behind the center, the, the press, finding the space in the middle. Our striker, usually Nick, you can be anyone as everybody, Will or Yoel, anyone plays a striker. Um, now he's giving options all over the field. Let's say now Josh is able to pass the ball to Ignacio or Matias. Now, we just broke the press from three players with one pass. Now, our touches have to be positive to be able to do that. Now, we can either dribble forward in case our midfielder presses. Now, Jaden is still open. We can pass to him. And now we are three or four with if this guy overlaps and this guy, the four goes back inside. Okay. Now, we can dribble with speed. Now they're all going to be coming back to defend. But if we're fast enough, we can move the ball up the field. Now as we move in the ball up the field, our players also move up the field, staying together. Center backs should never be spread out like this. They should all be tied together. Our keeper move up to the box. And now we have four of those players B, and we only have to be two other players. Their keep obviously will be off their line most of the time. Now that we were able to break the press, and Jaden was able to find, or Mark was able to find a run, or Yoel, um, Ben playing on the wing, now we can beat this defender on 1 1 1 because we, we do have the skills and the ability to do bring the ball to the end line as this guy is running close to you. Now our forward striker should always make a run near post okay that's one thing we haven't talked about now the first post on near post is the post nearest to the ball all right any post can be the first post it just depends on which side the ball is at so this one here will be the first post this one will be the second post at this moment now Jaden is also running forward on top of the box Matias, Ignacio, whoever is on the wing is also running back post on the second post for to receive that cross. This center back should be tracking back. He should be here behind this player or even being attracted to the ball. Now, we got two players open right in the middle that we can pass to. And from there, hopefully we can score. Pew! Go! And also... As we cross the ball and we are on that side of the field, on their final, we our center backs are nice and tight up the field in the, in the half in case we get a counterattack. And our goalie is also playing off his goal, off his even box. 